transitioning from the information age to the experiential age. And virtual reality provides actual experiences. And, and one of the particular values of these experiences is the spatial experience, but also um, having agency, being able to do things with your hands, which is so important. And I think it's so important because you, you, you're in a spatial environment, you feel like you're in a life sciences lab, the anatomical model is the same size as you, you can walk around it and do things. I found 3D Organon easy to use and very helpful in visualizing that. But what I really wanted to know about was their engagement and their motivation, and that was through the roof. Um, they all loved it, they all thought it was very positive. I think what's really great about the 3D Organon product and about VR in general is the idea that you can do what's impossible sometimes. Within the context of 3D Organon, there's a lot of material that students can access. Um, I think about this as being uh, a tool for exploration. It's, you know, being able to have all of these structures together and being able to demonstrate to students how they work, how they fit together, is the real value of 3D Organon, whether it's a VR version, or whether, like an immersive version, or whether it's a desktop version. Is that students really enjoyed using both the desktop and the immersive versions and they felt engaged in the content and were motivated to explore anatomy. Students find that learning through guided experiences is more stimulating and engaging. The technology addresses current challenges that we are experiencing as South Africa is currently facing a cadaver shortage as it transports students into a virtual lab where they're able to interact with a virtual human body. The technology is user-friendly as students can be transported to the virtual lab to explore the virtual human body by simply putting on the headset and clicking on the controller. But using the Organon software and then using sonar anatomical clips, pictures, etc. Basically all this happened every single time I've done these teaching sessions. And the one statement that rings true is where the trainee said, you know what, I now understand all of this information to what we've seen in that 3D environment onto this 2D pick that sometimes people struggle to interpret. Since I've started with 3D Organon since the beginning of the, the project, it's been really incredible for me and my students. So it's kind of having a human atlas that you can build and unbuild anytime you want. Some use case scenarios you can have are individual sessions and group sessions. And when they join the session, it's great because you can see them, they can even choose the avatar, place their names. It's so exciting for them, like being on VR and watching themselves, it's like great. It really motivates them. So what we did in 2018 is that we had a pilot of four to six students, took them into the lab, used uh, 3D Organo and uh, had pretty much just a session. 60 minutes, use this, let's talk a bit, what do you think? And the response was extremely positive, enthusiastic. It's quite fun when you end the VR session and the students go there or they leave the session with new questions. But they don't feel like confused and oh, this was intense. They're more like, oh, this I want to figure out. I go and look at the books, I'll read half an hour because they are not exhausted in the same way as they are after lectures. As you see, it's really positive responses. Not surprisingly, VR, it's awesome. The beauty of 3D Organ is that they are big enough to give us support, but you still are able to answer in quite a good, uh, I've never waited more than 24 hours on a response. That's impressive. 3D Organon shapes the future of medical and healthcare education globally through the use of immersive technologies. In this era of digital devices, we have a unique opportunity to enable better learning with cutting edge technologies in the XR ecosystem that is virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality.